today we'll be talking about the character of my my mother rahmatullah alayha nifisa ahmed muhammad grace nifisa was one of 13 children born to my grandmother unfortunately 10 of them died and only three of them were alive my auntie my late auntie my late uncle and my mother in the 30s Actually, my, the, 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 the business of my grandfather was in seeds, selling seeds uh, for the food, and barley, wheat, and maize, and others. And uh, the business was flourishing, and he was uh, looking very well after his two sons, uh, my uncle Hassan and my mother uh, Nafisa. He used to take them everywhere, everywhere, giving, uh, buying the best dress for them, the best clothes for them taking them to the theater and even the cinema when it was open to, sh to show them the other side of the life of Cairo at that time. Uh, my grandfather was originally, as I mentioned, from Munafiya, from a place called Ashmoon, Greece, uh, but they moved the whole family to Cairo. At that time, he was one of the political supporters or the activist of Al-Wafd party, which was the main political party in Egypt. And my mother was a member of the Waft Party, and she was one of the people who give deliver speeches, especially in an area called uh, called Darb Ahmar at that time, in the 30s. The business of my uh, my grandfather become downhill at the time of the recession after the Second World War, which is from 35 to about 45 or late 30 to 45, which affected very much Egypt, unfortunately. And uh, my mother uh, was a very sociable character, community leaders. And uh, when she was young, uh, she was offered a place in something called medical school. At the time, it was a boarding school. And she was sleeping in the boarding school at that time. But uh, my great-grandfather came to my grandfather uh, from my mother, Ahmed al Gracie, and he was very upset how on earth his young granddaughter sleep outside the house. And they pulled her out of this medical school at that time, and she was waiting for her marriage at home like any other girl at that time. But she was a very good reader, reading history book, culture book, yani poetry, uh, religious, uh, theology, everything. And the good thing about her, that when there's a meeting in our house, and my father's on this side, and she's on this side, and they discuss about a religious issue, she was always arguing with him about her opinion on how this has happened, like after the greatest destruction of the fitna, which is Hazrat Ali anhu and uh, Sayyida Aisha, and the others. And she was a very good reader of the history book, like the Jabarti book. And every day she used to have uh, to read the books, dramas, and others, plus the newspaper every day. But she was actually always defending herself, her opinion in front of everybody. And even my father, as a soft uh, character, used to smile at her and tell her, actually, Ya Sheikha. Or yeah, Hajja, thank you for your opinion. And yani he never actually yani, uh, dismissed her opinion and or her argument to him. Uh, when I was born, she discovered that I had a polymyelitis in my leg, and she was frustrated, and she was trying to treat me at any cost, but there was nothing to do at that time. It's gone, there's no vaccination in Egypt at that time. And she used to, uh, to implant in my heart how to love to play sport and run and play football and others. And she's the one who led me to be a member of the scouts groups at that time. We used to go to camps here and there. And she used to come with me to buy all my clothes. I was spoiled as a young uh, boy at that time. So she was very careful to try to compensate what happened to me and thinking that this is because of her. No, it's not because of her. It's because actually the lack of vaccination to the children when they were born at that time. So when we remember the, uh, the, the warm life between my father and my mother in the house and the character, the leading character of my mother in the house, and the house was divided into two parts. My father was very busy reading the theology part and his business of actually reading 
and uh, the books, the old text, Islamic textbooks, and she was actually looking at the social side of it. So people want to get divorced, or to get married, or get money, and all this used to come to the house, to the Hajjah at that time. So this impacted me very much in the Halmiya and outside the Halmiya and when we, travel, when we moved to, other, to the other house. And um, believe me that actually the age of uh, uh, the childhood up to the 14th is the age when everything is counted and printed at the back of the mind of your child. And that's why I'm still remembering these stories which impacted my life up till today. May Allah bless their souls, both of them. And thank you very much for watching the video. I wish that you can activate the notification bell and share the video with your colleagues and friends. Salam.